Today we are recreating Tom Noski's editing style in Adobe Premiere Pro. This is an extra special video because I will be using my first ever edit like pack, the Tom Noski pack. If you guys want to go ahead and copy it, it will be the first link in the description below. We went off, not going to lie. This thing is actually pretty gas. But if you don't want to copy it, feel free to just watch this video because there is going to be some sauce dropped. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and import the B-roll overlays. So I'm going to go to my desktop, go to edit like Tom Noski pack and then the assets. I'm going to include this one, that one, that one, just drag and drop. And I'm also just going to add all of these sound effects. And then also I'm going to add the textile because the textile is Tom Noski style. So we're going to go ahead and import it. And then as you guys can see, we have everything here. Now I'm just going to go ahead and add a bin for my footage. And I'm just going to go ahead and import all of my footage. So now that I have all my footage imported, we're going to go ahead and just get started with our video we're gonna go over here to sequence sequence settings get our thing set up so 1080 by 1920 and then we just go ahead 29.97 good to go just like so then we're gonna go go to scale 50 and i'm just gonna go ahead make this rotation 90 and then we're good this is kind of just how it works and then i'm just gonna uh go ahead and get started editing so the first things first what you guys want to go ahead and do is you guys want to go to the effects i'm gonna go to my tom noski sort of pack so i'm just gonna go ahead type in takeover and then tom noski pack's gonna pop up and then I'm gonna just drag and drop the cinema LUT. Now this cinema LUT looks really really clean and it looks really close to his actual LUTs. Um, you can edit all of these settings inside of these sort of Lumetri color tabs just like so or let's say you actually want to be able to adjust the sort of strength of the LUT. What you can go ahead and do is just add an adjustment layer drag and drop it and then just drag it over and then just, if you want it to be less strong you just turn the opacity down turn it up and as you can see, you just make the strength whatever you want it to be. We're going to do the sort of hooks that Tom Noski does. So it's kind of just literally um, text. So we're going to go ahead and just add our text. So we're going to do like edit like, and then we want to change our text to the actual text style of Tom Noski. And the way you do that is just go back to the text style right here and then just drag and drop it under text. And there you go. Just like so. Done. Easy peasy. We're gonna go ahead and center the text, make it a little bigger, and then we're just gonna go ahead and create like our little visual hook. So I'm gonna just hold Alt, drag up, and then I'm gonna move this. Well, so we'll do edit like Tom, just like so. And we'll bring it down like this. And then honestly, I'm just gonna add a little drop shadow. So we're gonna go down here, drop shadow. Maybe make this a little bigger, and then just maybe turn the opacity down like so, just like that. Same exact process, just duplicate it. Uh, change the text, Tom Noski bring it down and then what he likes to do sometimes it's like kind of when stuff is like connecting or able to connect make it connect so we're gonna go ahead and do that exact thing right here just like so bring it up make it connect that looks really really good and maybe I just want to go ahead and make this a little off-centered like that and then maybe also just move this over like so and then maybe bring it up just so it connects a little bit more fire now I'm actually really liking that and then we could also just add like maybe duplicate it and then do, we'll just do like um in or premiere and then we'll go ahead and just make like a small piece of text over here just like that so that way like i could go ahead and in premiere and we'll go ahead and duplicate it just like so and then in premiere pro there we go and then we go ahead and just play it and this is what it's looking like so far and then just premiere, it'll say premiere pro like that maybe we'll just make it a little bit quicker okay sick so this is going to be like our hook sort of section like this and now you guys are probably like yo okay this looks great but like it has no sauce so how are we going to add some sauce so the first way we're going to actually go ahead and add sauce we're going to go to the effects type in takeover and then we're going to add our first slide in up so I'm going to add a slide and up and then I'm going to just grab the slows. I'm going to select all everything else. I'm just going to select these two as well, make them slow. And then I'm going to just go ahead and nest this right here. I'm just going to have it slide in up just like so. And then we'll go ahead and play through and still that looks all right, but it's not looking good. So we want to go ahead and sort of stagger these like this. As you can see, we are literally getting that Tom Noski effect. We're just gonna go ahead and cut this off like so. Super, super easy. And then I want to actually add a little bit of extra sauce. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and do a flicker in on this small text, just like so. So it kind of flickers in. Looks really, really good. 
And you guys could even do this for maybe you just want to do it like edit, edit like. Just do a little flicker in. Like that. And that looks really, really clean. Now let's go ahead and move on from our visual hook to moving on to adding our B-roll. Now I'm going to go ahead and just use this color mat like this, the Tom Nask B-roll color mat. It comes in the pack just like so. And then we're going to go ahead and go to our B-roll. We're going to just literally grab a small section from this video just like so. Cut it like so. Let's, re let's go ahead and just resize it. So I'm going to right click and just scale the frame size like that. And then maybe just make it a little bit smaller. And then we're going to go to the rounded corner. And there we go. That looks really good. Now maybe we'll just cut the B-roll right here and then we'll just go ahead and just add some sort of captions. So we'll type in captions, select it all, go to the central graphics and then just play with the fill, make it black like that. Turn it up. Let's go ahead and center it, center it like this. And then let's just move it up like so. Captions here. Okay, so we're going to play it through so far. That looks pretty good. Then it goes back to here. And then maybe we just want to add another B roll. So we'll go to Premiere or we'll go to this. We'll go to our B roll bin. And then I'm just going to go ahead and drag another piece of B roll. So I'm going to go ahead and use this piece of B roll. Me just playing Call of Duty, just like that. And we'll actually just make this one full screen. So we're going to go ahead and just copy these settings. Control C, uh, this needs to be rotated negative 90 degrees. There we go. And then same exact thing. I'm just going to go ahead and drag and drop the Tom Noski Cinema LUT. And that looks really, really good to me. So we're going to go ahead and just apply it. And then let's say we want to add like a cool piece of text. So we'll just do um, text or we'll just type an example for and we'll go to graphics. We'll make this white. This is important that it's white. Okay, just turn it up like this. Center, center, center. I'm good to go. And then go, we go back to graphics. Then we just drag and drop this effect on. And then we have like this dope little look. And then let's say we want to just go ahead and do a slide in up. And then that's how the slide in up looks. And But let's say you actually want to go ahead and just add a flicker in and out. If you go ahead and do that right now, it's going to not work with this. So what you have to do is you have to actually apply the flicker in first and then you want to go ahead and nest it and then you can go ahead and add a difference just like so saucy now let's go ahead and show you exactly how to get like the blurry text effects like behind your subject now there's multiple different ways to do this because it is just a simple rotoscope effect but the way that i'm going to be doing it is by using keeper it is a paid plugin only for apple but i actually made the sort of um preset right here. So Tom Noski rotoscope. And then we just go ahead and just add text right here. So I'll just go ahead and do text, type it in like so. And then we'll go ahead and just position it where we want it. So let me actually just do text like this. There we go. If you guys hear my cat howling, that is my cat. So don't worry about it. He's just being a goofball. Okay. So we got it positioned where we want. Um, let's actually just go ahead and move it right here and then let's move it down below. And as you guys can see, it is actually behind the subject. Now Keeper is an amazing plugin, super goaded. I highly recommend you guys invest in yourself and go get it. Super worth it. Another thing you guys can do to this is just add a blur text effect. And then there you go. It looks like it's like in the actual background. You guys can play with the color as well. So because the background is a little darker, you can change the color of the text. So we can go over here to the text, go to fill, maybe just make it a little darker like so. And like that, it just looks so much more realistic. Bam. Sick. Now let's actually just add another thing of B-roll because this style is very like B-roll um, focused, which is honestly really good. We're just going to go ahead and drag and drop another example of B-roll like this. And then we're going to go ahead and just do the effects. There we go. We got the effects. Now, for example, if I drag and drop the LUT, it's too strong. So again, I'm going to go ahead and fix that, show you guys how I fix it. Just add an adjustment layer like so, drag and drop, drag the LUT on, and then there you go. Now we can actually play with the strength. So I'm going to go ahead and just go back right there. That looks really good to me. Now we're going to go over here to the overlay sort of 
right here. So B-roll overlay, drag and drop. And then there we go. We have like this dope sort of like effect. Now, if you guys want, you guys can add like a dope little blur effect to it. And what that's going to do is just make it kind of look a little bit less sharp and just more like film E, I guess. Looks really, really good. Highly recommend you guys do it. And then you guys can go ahead, add your text. Elementary color or central graphics, make this white, completely white. Make it bigger, train it like this and duplicate it. I'm gonna select all, make this smaller, put it right here. And maybe just fit it like right up in here, just like so. To me, that looks really good. So go ahead and just set it. That looks fire. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and stagger it. And then we'll do this slide down and then we'll also just do a side and up, just like this. There we go. Now that looks really, really fire. Now again, if you guys don't like the placement of it, you can just nest it and move it or you guys can move it one by one. But like the, the sauce is just nesting it together doing that. And the secret sauce to all of your reels and your short from content is adding adjustment layers, AKA um, camera movements. So drag and drop the adjustment layer into the intro, like above everything. Like once you get the base edits, this is when you go ahead and add camera movement. So I'm gonna go ahead, adjustment layer. I'm gonna go over here to camera pull intro. So this is meant for your intro. So you can make it any length of adjustment layer. So this is just gonna be for the hook. And then as you guys can see, we have a dope camera movement, just like Tom Noski. And it looks really, really good. Now let's say you guys wanna add like a quick little zoom in, just like this, just do camera zoom in just like so. You guys can go ahead and just extend these out and then you guys have a dope little camera zoom in. I wanna show you guys one last saucy text effect that you guys can do. It just makes stuff look really, really good. So we're gonna go ahead and do it on the end. And what we're gonna go ahead and do, let's just say buy now, cause it's the best pack ever. And then, so this isn't the text effect. What the text effect actually is, is we're gonna duplicate this for however many words there is, we're gonna go ahead and duplicate. Duplicate it once. And then I'm actually just gonna delete everything but the word buy. There we go. And then we're gonna duplicate. I'm just going to go ahead and make this last one the smiley face. And then we're going to go ahead and just slide over in the effect controls, the smiley face to line up exactly with the smiley face, the word now with the word now, just like so. And then over to the word by is already there. So now you can delete the bottom layer. You stagger these sort of texts like this. Then there you go. You have like a dope little like text sort of like reveal effect. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Again, if you guys don't want to go ahead and just create all of these presets yourself, then I highly recommend you go ahead and cop the Tom Noski pack. It's going to save you so much time while also just improving the quality of your work. But again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys want to go ahead and check out the Tom Noski pack, since you did make it to the end of the video, use code TOM20 and you're gonna go ahead and get 20% off your order. That's it for me. Remember guys, take action, take over, and I'll see you guys in the next one.